Okay, so week two, um, and it is now two-man week, so this is where it gets, well, not maybe not more serious, but it gets a bit more intense because this is, this is what I want to do next year. This is where I want to be, and riding two-man is, is where the sport is, so... else to think about and that person is going to be my brakeman who I may as well introduce now um, and that is Chris Winrow. So he's a friend of mine from the UK. We played a bit of American football together um, years back for the Leeds Bobcats before I went to the States to play. Um, I've just stayed in touch and he kind of fit the bill for what I wanted in a brakeman for these for these two weeks and so he's flown out and uh, we will be riding down the Lake Placid track together in two man. So here he is. Chris Winrow, everybody. So um, yeah, basically what, what are your, what, going into next week, what are you thinking? Just anything. Yeah, what? just no, no sort of expectations on it really. I've never, obviously never ever done anything like this before, but really excited. Obviously it looks like such an exciting sport and interested to see what you do and mm -hmm. you know, see, see how it all goes. Absolutely no expectations. That would just be really interesting to do. Yeah, which I think is a good place to be because anyone that's done bobsleigh knows that Lake Placid has a bit of a reputation. It's a rough track, probably one of the roughest in the world, if not the roughest, um, and and crashing and just. But even but even just riding down, like you know, you've got things that are called the Devil's Highway, um, and that's just because even if you're clean through there, it's gonna bash you about. So I think not having any expectations is probably a good place to be. Um, just a bit of backstory. So this is exactly what I did four years ago. So my first ever GB ride in a sled was at this Bob school four years ago, riding behind um, Brad Hall. So I, I know exactly what it takes. And so I know I'm not asking anything of Chris that I wouldn't do myself because I have done it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna prepare the sled, get some loads of padding on, um, teach Chris the sport in general, because as I said, ne never, never been involved with bobsleigh before. So we'll get some, get some training in, get some like looking around the track later this afternoon. May also go up the ski jump a little bit, and then tomorrow is the first day of sliding. So it's going to be a, a good, a good productive week, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Are you? Absolutely. Yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. No, it'll be good. So we'll check back later in the week after a bit of, uh, a bit of preparation. Those of you that don't know, this is the top of the Lake Placid track. So right here is where I hope to be uh, in a week or so with Chris, just gliding it off and down into the abyss. I swallowed air or something. I need some water, two seconds. Sorry. <coughs> Looper reel. Right, well, first things first, while Chris is dying over there, um, <coughs> we, we had these plans of like doing a vlog every day, but it was way too tiring for that. So it is now Saturday at the end of sliding. So we've done the full week and just gonna like round it up from the start and kind of go through day by day uh, what happened because 
hopefully we can remember that far back so it won't be an issue. Okay, so day one, the first first day of sliding in a two-man, that was completely new for the both of us. Um, so I think I said, it, it was interesting teaching bobsleigh for the first time because I've always been the one on the bottom, on the learning curve, so it was interesting to teach that. Um, but in actual fact, the, in terms of the sliding, I was, I was nervous because I had no idea, again, just like my first day of Monobob, I had no idea what to expect. And actually, it was way better. I, I much preferred it to the, um, to the Monobob. With the Monobob, I was like, I kind of suck at this. But then when the two-man came around, I was much, much better, and it just felt way more natural. So clearly, like, the two-man and the weight and all of that, like big man Chris in the back, um, made just a huge difference to how the sled acted and that suited me way more so those were my impressions coming off the first run chris had a slightly different experience uh yeah um obviously being in the back it was the first time doing that uh, first time doing the sport at all really um uh, completely sort of didn't expect uh the ride to be it's really shaky back there your head is bouncing around a lot your body you're clinging on for dear life and you have you can't see anything you have no idea what's going on around you obviously you try to sort of learn the track before you go in um and try to tell where you are really but it's it's you know especially on your first run it's near impossible it's a whirlwind and you just it's a whirlwind of just shaking and banging around back there and it you know gave me a lot of respect for the people that do it full time yeah like i i mean i was nervous coming into the drive and i actually that that first drive was pretty nice it was pretty smooth and i came out at the top and i was buzzing and I look across to Chris and his eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> and he's just kind of like, whoa. Which, totally fair enough. I know I was the exact same on my first ride in the back. But, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, nice smooth run, eh, Chris? And yeah. he's like, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> so, but but then the second one's better, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So once you, so I found that once I'd done one, I sort of knew what to expect a little bit more. You, you know, my awareness of what was going on around me picked up. And then, so sort of as, you know, as it went on, you know, the, as the runs went on, I could sort of, pick up you know where I might be in the track and what what was coming up and you know where the bumpy bits would be and which ones was smooth a bit and sort of feel what was going on so it absolutely got better and you definitely like sort of gain a sense of awareness as it goes on yeah and and like pretty much the next three days were just more of the same absolutely. so we're doing more reps with the driving and just kind of going gradually higher and higher so start you know start at start three and then did some at start two and then went up to the top and it was much the same you know chris is getting more used to being in the back and knowing what corners are and what to expect where um and it's just kind of moving up and up and and that went really well and the best day i think was it thursday or was it wednesday yeah, um yeah that was we had three runs and the plan was if the first two runs went well to then move up to the top uh, and that's what happened. The first run was okay, second run was probably the nicest yeah, run I did really um, and kind of carried that confidence into then going off the top which is obviously a big deal to go off the top of Placid for the first run in a two man and it was really nice and I was so happy with it, so happy. Yeah, probably then that third run was the best run off the top. So my first ever run off the top was arguably my best. Um, and yeah, experienced our first crash both for me as a two-man pilot and obviously Chris's first ever crash, which is always wild. Um, now, for, for me, compared to crashing as a brakeman, crashing as a pilot is it's fine. You take a bit of a whack on your head, again, like going down. Chris had a pretty different experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's a wild, it's, yeah, it's like nothing else really when, you know, yeah, you, the... the but you definitely, you know, it happens in an instant, and all of a sudden, you're being ripped out of it, of of the of the sled, and your your helmet's against the ground, and you can feel your your shoulder getting rub, rub, rubbed along the ice, and you you know you you're going downhill no matter what, and it's go you know it's fast and. When the different, the worst part for me definitely was the, when the different corners come up and you know, t you know, your head's resting on the ice and another corner comes up that's you know, coming putting pressure on that way and it snaps your neck back and yeah, it's a very very nasty experience crashing that's for sure and it's yeah again a lot of, gave me a lot of respect for people that do it full time. Yeah, and then actually at the end of our crash, so the last two corners of the Lake Placid track are uphill. The last two corners, like you're slowing down 
and if the track workers can't get to you, you slide back down. And we both remember like looking up and we could see the track worker and he's like running, running down the side, then jumped onto the ice. We were like, please grab us. <laughs> and we spoke to him afterwards. Apparently he reached and just didn't quite yeah. get the runner. Yeah. And so I was, you know, I turned back and I was like, hold on, Chris, yeah. we're going backwards. <laughs> and you kind of do this yeah. like little yo-yo until you end up at the bottom of corner 18 where then there's people to pick you up but yeah it's like uh Mufasa or something you know just kind of like trying to reach for this track work and like please stop us but, yeah obviously I'm I'm really appreciative of, of Chris jumping in with me I know it's an inglorious task to go in with a rookie driver on your first ever runs um but it's been a great week uh, it's been a great two weeks on and off the ice it's now officially summer Take, take the smiles and, and the fun time that we've had on these two weeks and, and use that to, to carry on into the off-season and hopefully have a productive off-season, getting ready to be a pilot full-time. Any parting words, Chris? Uh, no, just really, you know, enjoyed it, an amazing experience. It's something you know you rarely, you know, when are you ever going to get to do it? It's, it's such a such a niche sport and it's, it's a real experience that, you know, I highly recommend. If you ever get the chance, it's very unlikely, you know, but if you ever get the chance to do it, do it. It's like, you never know, I'm recruiting, <laughs> recruiting brakemen, so. Yeah, if you, if you ever get a chance, it's like nothing else and the adrenaline that you get from it is, is a, is, it's a real rush. So absolutely an amazing experience. It's been a really good time. So. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe down below um, and follow my off season if you like or go and back and watch more about like the, the full season that I did as a brakeman. Bye guys. Cool. Nice.